Hey guys, it's Gina and welcome back to the Curly Hair Care for Beginners playlist and my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be trying out four different product application techniques, but using only one styler, which is my Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Jelly. This is one of my favorite gels because it really gives me great results every time I use it. And I thought, what better product to test out some different application techniques. That way you can kind of see the difference that it might make if you change up something that you do in your routine. And a lot of these differences might be very subtle. You might not even notice them here when you're looking at all four, but to me, I can tell a difference. So the first method is if you want super defined, tight ringlets. The second one is just a really quick, easy, fast method. The third one is a layering technique, so it's really good if you struggle with frizz. And then the last one is sort of a combination between volume and definition, and I've shared this one before, and it's definitely one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. So I did want to quickly share what I did before the product application. So I did first condition my hair and detangle using the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk conditioner. And then I did shampoo using the Not Your Mother's shampoo. And so this routine I did share in my video all about my Sunday wash day routine. So if you wanna see more in depth of the steps that I did leading up to the actual styling process, then you'll want to check that out because I did do a deep conditioner and I kept this Part of the routine the same each time that way we can have a true test to see if the actual styling methods do make a difference so the first method that we're going to be doing is a super defined tight ringlet method where you section off your hair and evenly distribute the product so i've already rinsed out my deep conditioner and i'm starting with clean hair now i do like to apply the dippity doo gel with pretty wet hair but you don't want it to be soaking wet i've made this mistake with this gel before it's supposed to be kind of towel dried but i do like to just add a little bit more water because my hair repair towel that I use to dry my hair tends to remove a lot of water and it starts to actually dry. So I just added a little bit of water with my spray bottle and now we're actually going to section off our hair. I do like to wrap my hair repair towel around my shoulders too just to keep the product off my shirt. So I'm sectioning off my hair using hair clips and we're going to do this to make sure we fully evenly coat the hair and that's gonna ensure that there's no frizz and everything is very defined. This is a great routine for the summertime when you're really struggling with frizz too. And I'm going to be using the Denman brush, which is used to create ringlets. If you haven't seen my video about how to make your hair curlier, I recommend checking that out because I share more about the Denman brush and how much of a difference it makes at making your hair curly. So we're first going to just rake the product all throughout our hair, and this is just to help coat that section evenly. And then we're gonna pick up vertical sections from each section of hair that's down and use the Denman brush to define each individual curl. Now you can pick up smaller sections if you want the curls to be very tight, but this does take a long time. Just for warning use, if you don't have a lot of time, pick up larger sections, but just know you're gonna end up with larger curl clumps. And this is the five row Denman brush. You can actually take out some of the rows of bristles, but I have all of them in right now. You can also alternate the way that you are turning the brush. So that will kind of alternate the ways that the curls will fall. Um, but it's also important to kind of look at the curl and see which way it naturally spirals. That way you're making sure that you are turning it in the right direction. So you're not going against the curl pattern that you naturally have. And this is really going to help define the curls, make them very tight and just really bounce up. Um, especially if you have a tighter curl pattern than me, this is gonna make your hair super curly. Just know you probably are gonna get some shrinkage with this, so once your hair is dry, it's gonna look a lot shorter, but it's gonna be really defined. One other thing I like about this gel is you can shake out the crunch. So if you don't like that hard, crunchy look, you can shake this out when we're all finished. After defining each curl, you can also give it a little bit of a scrunch to just encourage that curl and that ringlet even more. Once I get up to the top crown section, I like to kind of angle the hair back and that's just to give me more volume and keep it from looking flat at my roots. Now it's finally time to diffuse. And I have been diffusing right away after styling my hair versus plopping for a little bit. And this seems to help cut down on frizz a little bit for me, but you can try whatever you like doing, whether if you like to air dry for a little bit first or go straight in and diffuse. I like to diffuse my hair upside down. So I did try to do the same exact drying method with all of these different product application techniques. That way I can really test the application techniques versus the drying techniques. So maybe that will be another video. We can test out different drying methods and see how those impact our results. So after my hair was mostly all the way dry, I did go back in and touch up just some of the frizzy areas with a little bit of gel on my hands. And I do find that I get a lot of frizz sometimes from diffusing, and that is because I'm touching my hair with the diffuser. If you don't wanna have that issue, then just hover the diffuser around your head. Um, but I don't mind going back in and touching up a little bit. And then I just hit it with the diffuser one more time to make sure everything is shrunk up and I don't have any stringy pieces hanging down. 
So that is it for this application method. This gives you super defined curls that are going to last a long time. And I find that I have to do a lot less refreshing the next day when I wear this style. The next method is just a simple, quick, easy method. This is what I do usually midweek when I'm washing my hair before work and I don't have much time. So I basically start with towel dried hair that I just wet a little bit on the ends, just where it was starting to dry. And then I just pull the product all the way through. This is similar to like a rake and shake method. Like you're just raking the product through your hair and then you can kind of shake the ends if you want to encourage that curl pattern. But I'm doing this upright. You could do this upside down if you wanted more volume. That definitely helps me with more volume, but this is just a really quick, easy way to do it. If you have thinner or fine hair like me, you can pretty much get your hair coated. If your hair is um, a lot thicker though and has more layers, then you might need to kind of section off a little bit just to ensure you're coating that gel in the inner layers. Um, but for me, I was able to pretty much get it good and coated. Before I finish, I just like to scrunch up with my hands a little bit. I'll just add a little bit more of the gel and then scrunch the ends all over to help encourage that curl pattern. So now you could either plop your hair up in a hair repair towel for a little bit, or I'm just gonna go right in and diffuse my hair like I showed in the previous method. A quick little tip, sometimes I like to place the teeth of my diffuser attachment right at my root and give it a lift. This will help give you some more volume at the root. Just hold it for a few seconds and then switch it over to cold to set it in place. I didn't have quite as many frizzy ends this time, but just a little bit on one side. So I'm touching those up with a little bit of gel and sometimes I wet my hands just a little bit, but I try not to wet it too much so I don't have to go in and diffuse again. So here's a little close up. I don't really have any frizz, which is great. I have pretty good definition thanks to the gel and I'm surprised at the amount of ringlets that I have without using the Denman brush at all. This was just me combing the product through and scrunching and I just have my natural regular curl pattern. So this method is a little bit similar, but also different. I think it's called the Smasters technique. I'm not really sure. I've heard it somewhere. It might've been on Instagram, but basically what we're gonna do is first start with towel dried hair, wet the hair down, and then just apply your styling product. So I'm just gonna rake the styling product all throughout my hair. And just like we did on the last one, just the really quick method. You could kind of do any method though for this. Another application method you might have heard of is the praying hands technique and I'm doing a little bit of that here just where I'm kind of smashing the hair between my hands and that just helps smooth down frizz. As long as you don't have any tangles you can do that. Um, I don't like doing that method all over my head um, but I am doing a little bit of a combination there with that um, where I'm kind of raking and kind of clasping the hair between my hands to help smooth down the frizz and then giving it a little bit of a scrunch. If you want to get good volume at the roots, I recommend flipping your head over and then pulling all your hair to the front and then scrunching upside down. So that is one thing that I usually do with all of my routines, no matter which technique that I do, and that just helps bring the hair away from the scalp with your head upside down so you get a lot more volume right up at the root. Um, and then you also want to scrunch with your head upright because that underside layer can kind of get pressed down against your head and be kind of weird. So I just like to scrunch that area upright. So because this method involves layering, we're first going to let our hair air dry some. And you can either just walk around and air dry with how your hair is, or you can plop your hair using a cotton t-shirt or I'm using my hair repair towel. So I just tie this up on top of my head so all of the hair is up on top so I get good volume and definition that way. I do have a video about how to plop your hair that I will link down below. But I'm going to kind of let the towel absorb some of the excess moisture and let my hair start to dry a little bit. And then I'm gonna take it down after maybe five or 10 minutes. You could go and do your makeup at this point. And then I'm gonna apply another layer of product. So that's kind of why it's like a sandwich, I guess, where you have product, you're letting it dry a little bit, and then you're going in and adding more product. So if you look closely at your hair as it's starting to dry, you might notice some areas that are starting to get frizzy. And for me, that's usually this area that I'm showing up close. So I can already see frizz forming. So I'm just gonna pick up those pieces, smooth that down with my hand, or you could use the Denman brush. Um, but just make sure your hair is still wet when you're doing that and not starting to dry. Um, and just smooth some more gel over those areas. I also like to smooth more gel over my ends because those always get frizzy. And then you can also kind of twirl some around your finger. That's another easy method to kind of get good ringlets, but that does take some time. So if you're just having a piece that's struggling to curl, then I would recommend doing that or using the Deadman brush. So now I'm just checking to make sure I got all of the frizzy areas. If you have any frizz, left over, then you can just add a little bit of water and product to your hands and just smooth that over the surface, but you don't want to disturb the curl pattern too much. 
As you know, it's not good to touch your hair too much as it's starting to dry because you can just break up that cast that's starting to form. Um, I did let a little bit of the cast start to form on my ends before I was going to go in and diffuse. So then I just diffused my hair like normal as I've been doing in all of these routines. And once I was done, I just had a few frizzy ends. So again, I just touched those up the same way that I have been before, which is similar to how you do like when you're refreshing where you just add a little bit of water on your fingers and some gel and smooth over those frizzy ends. And if it starts to get too stringy, then just turn your dryer back on. You can do it even on cold and diffuse those ends until they shrink right back up. And that will give you a good gel cast on your ends if they tend to frizz up really easily. So for my final results, I don't think these differed a whole lot from the last method. I think they look pretty much the same and the amount of volume that I have is pretty much the same. Um, I would say that the main difference is I had a lot more hold and I had a lot more of a gel cast. So if you're wanting to make your product have more hold out of it, then this would be a good thing to do. And it did last me a little bit longer for day two and day three. I didn't have to do quite as much refreshing. So overall, the appearance was very similar to the last one, but I just had a little bit more hold. Okay, so the last and final method is kind of a hodgepodge of all of the different methods that I've shared, but this one is gonna give you really good volume and definition. So I'm first starting with towel dried hair, wetting it down like I have been doing, and then I'm just raking the gel all throughout my hair. I'm also gonna flip my head over and then pull it all forward. And then I'm also gonna take the Denman brush and smooth everything down. You might see me do this method a lot when I share my routines on Instagram. And that's usually because this is my favorite method to do because I can still get a lot of volume, but I can also have good definition and hardly any frizz. So after smoothing all of my hair forward with the Denman brush, I like to break up all of those curl clumps using my hands. And this is what is gonna give us a lot of volume. If you just leave those clumps, it might not have as much volume, especially if you have fine hair like mine. Afterwards, I'm just going to apply a little bit more product to my hands and then scrunch my entire head. After scrunching, I flip my head back over and then I go in with the Denman brush and just kind of take small sections around the part area and define those using the Denman brush. So, this is pretty much a combination of a quick method where you're just kind of pulling the product through to get a lot of volume and a super defined method. But it doesn't take as much time as the very first routine we did where we were sectioning off our hair and defining every single curl with the Denman brush. I'm just kind of defining the area around the top layer that you see. So it looks like I have a lot of ringlets, but in the inside layers of my hair, it's really pulled apart and there's not any curl clumps in there. So I have a lot more volume, so it makes my hair look full, but I do have that layer of ringlets around the top that are super defined. After that, I'm just scrunching out some of the excess water with my hair repair towel. That's another drying method you can do before diffusing is just go around and scrunch your hair with this or a cotton t-shirt and then I'm gonna go and diffuse like normal. So to give myself even more volume, I'm gonna place that diffuser right at my roots and just give it a lift and hold it there and then I'm finishing off on the cold setting like I do with all of my routines. So my final results, these are my personal favorite. I feel like I have the most amount of ringlets that are defined and the most amount of volume combined into one. So hopefully you might have taken away some tips that you might wanna use in your routine to kind of come up with your own application techniques. So if you decide to try out any of these four product application techniques, please send me a photo on Instagram. You can shoot me a DM anywhere and just let me know because I would love to see your results and how they turned out on you. Also, leave me a comment down below with which your favorite method is. So out of these four, which one do you like the best? You can pause this right here to see. Let me know which is your favorite. I'll also have a photo of all of these side by side on the blog post that goes with this video, and I will link the products that I used in this video and the tools and everything on that blog post. That'll be the first link in the description box down below. And check out the rest of the Curly Hair Care for Beginners playlist. There's tons of other tips on all kinds of different topics when it comes to transitioning to curly hair and taking care of your curly hair for beginners. So hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you soon. Bye everyone.